balancing creativity and profitability as an interior designer can be challenging. So let's talk about how to balance. In order to be profitable, you gotta be fast. In order to be creative, you gotta swim in the juicy waters of creativity that can sometimes feel like inspiration that you wanna get from a day on the beach and a travel to a foreign country. <gasps> So how do you manage to balance the two of those things together in a way that your design work can be profitable? Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> Here are the three things I do, and then I'm gonna show you how I do that, okay? So number one that I recommend for you to do is have a template for the way that you collect your creative ideas into one place. If it's always the same every time, that allows you to work through your creative process faster. Remember, fast equals profits. Number two, have a system for the way that you interpret all your creativity into something that is beneficial to the client. Meaning, how do, does your inspiration of that pink flower on the green bush turn into an idea for the client's living room? <laughs> and the third thing you can consider implementing in your business is having a template that is a communicative tool for your clients to understand where you're intending to take them in the design of their project. How we do it in our office is in a program called Keynote. It's the Mac version of PowerPoint. And we create this PowerPoint document that starts with always first, always guiding words for the project. We always start with, okay, this family in this home, they want to feel happy, cheerful. They want to feel energized. They want to feel optimistic. They want to feel nature and they want to feel connected to outdoors. So we come up with a series of guiding words. Those guiding words, then always the next page age in our keynote presentation is how those words make colors. For example, the family wants to feel a relationship from indoor and outdoor. Maybe that color is green. The family wants to feel happy. Maybe that color means yellow. And so now we can pull, pull together this yellow and green color scheme for their room. The next page after that is always and will always be patterns. The following page will always be materiality. So if they want an indoor outdoor feel, maybe that means wood material. If they want happiness, maybe for us, we interpret that as a material of brass. However we interpret those words into material palette is always that subsequent page. After that is when we start our mood boards per room. So as you can see, this keynote document stands as a template in my computer always. So whenever I start a project, I open that template keynote file and I simply fill in my inspiration and fill in how I communicate that inspiration to the client so that they know how my inspiration becomes applicable to their home. So I would invite you to consider what is a template for collecting one, collecting your creativity, two, organizing the transfer of creativity into actionable items for your client. And then three, systemizing that into a way that you communicate all those ideas to your client. If you can create a system for that, that is a way you can incredibly powerfully with leadership balance creativity and quick profitability. Systemizing things in business is one of my favorite things to talk about. So if you're like, oh, I want to systemize things in my business to increase my speed so I can be more profitable. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we jump on a call together? You can book a call at my website, biographicaldesign.com. And I would love to sit with you for a minute and strategize what we can come up with. And before you go, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And let's stay connected on Instagram. I'd be happy to see you there.